Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Mighty Morphin Power Rangers video, because I just do these all the time, but I've been wanting to check out the Super 7 MMPR Ultimates, and I was at San Diego Comic Con, and the San Diego Comic Con 2023 exclusive was the Dragon Zord, Black and Gold, aka the Sam Sparrow Edition, comes in this giant box, no joke, it says Power Rangers Ultimates, you pull that slipcase off and then you get to see a nice window box ensemble for the Dragon Zord. So it's crystal clear, you get to see everything that it comes with. It's got that black and gold artistic motif to it, meant to evoke the Bandai Legacy Collection for the black and gold Zords, right? So on the back side, you get uh, a little bit of a write-up. You get a nice photo of the Dragon Zord, bringing back all those Bandai nostalgia, right? And if you don't know anything about Power Rangers or the Green Ranger, well, this might help. But uh, in the meantime, go watch the first two seasons. They're pretty ridiculous, but they're fun at the same time. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive, the Super 7 Dragon Zord Black and Gold Edition from their Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Ultimates. So once you open up the giant box, yank everything out. Yeah, you get everything you see here, and if you haven't already please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates, yada yada. Yeah, you know how this goes by now. So, first and foremost, you get a couple extra hands for Dragon Zord. I really like the gold that they've picked. It's actually a gold paint. It's not that marbleized gold, but don't be surprised when you're yanking out the hands and swip swapping them, you're gonna get some gold rub, but it's not gonna affect the actual hands. That goes double again for the fists, right? So you can bop some Arita's monsters, right, properly. It does come with the dragon coin, dragon zord coin, green ranger coin. It's a huge heavy coin. I was surprised, I was like, oh, this is gonna be plastic. That's what Hasbro does to you, right? Wink, wink, that's what you think. Ah, oh, it's gonna be plastic. It's a nice solid coin. You get a little teeny tiny green ranger. He's playing the dragon dagger. Now, I'm gonna tell you honestly, I would have loved if this was painted a little bit better. You could have seen a little bit more detail to it. Super Impulse makes these. They don't put a little stand. That's another thing. I wish they didn't have a little stand to him. But uh, yeah, for the price point, this could have been done a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, right? Now, behold, now behold the, the, dragon the Dragon Zord. You gotta say it like Zordon, right? But he's pretty darn cool, I have to say. For a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, this is not going to offset your Power Ranger collection. If anything, it'll be one of those, oh yeah, I got this at Comic-Con sort of deals. Not, oh man, I really miss that black and gold Dragon Zord. I would have totally preferred the normal looking Dragon Zord. But I really wanted to check out the collection, right? He's got the big movable jaw right there. That's pretty cool. Now, what's really funny to me is the minimal articulation. Now, Super 7, they're recreating what you see on Power Rangers. The arms get little to no articulation, but that's how it is on the show. So you got wrists, a little bit in the elbow, but not much. Which is funny, because on the show, which they use multiple times, is that he's seen here biting this candy-striped smokestack, right? How does his arm get up there? We don't know. <laughs> Especially with just how that is angled, right? He's got little compartments in his arms. And I never even thought about that, which is really funny. So I learned something new this day, right? Now, he does have plenty of articulation in the waist. He kind of has the waist crunch, not so much the whatever the middle thing is but yeah you get the idea he waist crunches and spins at the waist there isn't a whole heck of a lot of articulation on this guy but what he lacks in articulation he more than makes up for in the paint the design everything is pretty solid there are minimal hiccups but it's pretty solid overall and i really like the reds the blacks the golds everything goes really nicely together as you can see the legs he does have knee there's not much of a knee think about a transformer it's blocks moving on blocks not flesh right so keep that in mind it moves just like the dragon zord moves on the show for better for worse maybe you don't like that maybe you want a whole heck of a lot more articulation then this probably will not be for you but if you want a solid looking figure with good looking paints and pretty much a recreation of what you see on the show, down to the tail, which is segmented, which that primarily makes up a lot of the articulation for this figure. It's pretty cool. Right down to the spinny whirly bob on the end of the tail. I always liked that, when it would 
go past the camera and would knock into a bunch of stuff and just drill through things or hit an evil space alien or a megazord if they were fighting and what's really cool is you can actually get the segmented tail all the way around so if you want to do a little bit of a godzilla action you can totally do that for dragon zord right so yes minimal minimal articulation not going to be everyone's cup of tea that's for sure a lot of people are going to say well for the price point there should have been a lot more in the box articulation wise for me that's totally fine but again i think it's the accessories that i would have liked to have seen more of right just fyi i am the stickler for accessories and to be honest i would have liked to have seen a whole heck of a lot more like the candy striped smokestack right something like that maybe missiles coming out of his missile launcher hands which are done nicely right it's like he got his nails did but remember the old scene every time they load this up all the little missiles come out they fire at the power rangers and they're totally fine even though they're fighting somehow from angel grove to japan but it totally looks cool but then i saw that the actual dragon sword in normal colors does come with a bunch of rocket firing effects and so it makes me scratch my head and say well why didn't the san diego comic-con get those cool effects right well yeah, I guess they're treated just like a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. It's just that. It's not detrimental. And if you want the normal look of Dragon Zord, well, he's coming out soon. So I will say, the price was a little bit steep. I'm not exactly stoked on it, but for what it is and the nostalgia it brings, it's just okay, to be honest with you. Now, when you want to stack him up against other Power Ranger figures in your collection, like the Bandai Tyrannosaurus Zord, right? be a little bit too small he's on the smaller end however super 7 did do their own tyrannosaurus zord so you can stack him up with the dragon zord but like i said this is my first foray into mmpr ultimates what i do like though is that if you have the old bandai evil space aliens for the most part like he's like a smidge taller but that's really okay with me i think of the dragon zord being a little bit taller than those evil monsters it looks pretty cool and you're free to bat piranha's head right in the face and again that looks cool that's really what i wanted him for you don't get a whole heck of a lot of zords these days at least ones that stack up to what's been released but again from the larger bandai evil space aliens i think he goes pretty well the smaller ones for the flip heads right that's not gonna fit whatsoever much too tall but still it makes for a fun Power Ranger collection. Now, for the Hasbro Lightning Collection Evil Space Aliens, I would say the Bandai ones fare a little bit better in size. Like, you could honestly say, sure, these fit. You can have smaller Evil Space Aliens compared to the Dragon Sword. So they're just okay. But once you have it all displayed on your shelf, it's not too far off. Now, one thing I will say, though, for the Green Ranger that he comes with, paint aside, right? There's really no place to really stick him. You could put him on the shoulders, sure, but I totally remember the Green Ranger being up top on the Dragon Zord's head, right? Remember they'd move it around, it was all cornball? I really wish you could have done that here. Again, you could put him on there, but I would rather see a better recreation of that scene, right? But when you have the Dragon Zord, specifically this black and gold version, along with all the other green rangers that may or may not be in your collection well here's how he stacks up to some old bandais and you got the newer hasbro walmart collection vhs collection so yeah you'll have fun on your shelf and for those of you wondering if you've never checked it out much like i have for the mmpr ultimates as far as this dragon zord goes here's a couple comparisons right you got the masterverse you got marvel legends you got dc multiverse by mcfarlane so he's gonna be a taller figure more on the eight to nine inch scale so that will wrap it up for my quick look at the new san diego comic-con 2023 super 7 exclusive the black and gold dragon zord from the mmpr ultimates Overall, I do like this figure. It's a little bit lackluster, especially in the accessories. Articulation aside, that's what you see on the show. Eh, I would have just appreciated a few more throw-ins in the box, to be honest with you. Will I be checking out more MMPR Ultimates? I think for the Zords. And if they do more monsters, that's for sure. The Rangers remains to be seen. But in the meantime, I've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything MMPR Ultimates. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, if you'd like to see me do more videos on Wave 1 of the Ultimates by Super 7, let me know down in the comments below. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.